Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the F-250 Super Duty, the Super Beast. We're doing a uh, quick little review for you guys today. Um, it, it is a little overdue, so I apologize. I wanted to kind of try to hit the six month, 15,000 mile review, tell you guys how I'm loving this truck, um, tell you about uh, some of the things that are coming up about the truck that I'm disliking. Um, but uh, unfortunately, we haven't made the six, we didn't make six month mark, we're at eight months, we're at 17,000 miles, and I'll tell you, the truck has actually been very, very good. Um, we, as most of you guys have seen, I did do the delete at 5,000 miles, and absolutely perfect, no hiccups, no issues. The PPI tuner has been perfect, it's been on point uh, about, about three months in, we did get a, a version two uh, uh, tune update, which did help with the shifting, so that was kind of nice. But all in all, the, uh, the, the tuner's been absolutely perfect, it's been great. I've had no hiccups, I've got no check engine lights, nothing at all. Uh, as far as the uh, modifications on the truck, modifications are at a halt right now. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, why we are not modifying the truck anymore here in the next part of the video but um, all in all like I said the video the the truck has been perfect it's been great the sound level has stayed nice and quiet it's very nice to, to drive in um, I do a lot of uh, uh, around town so it's kind of nice to you know because you're kind of on the gas and everything I don't hear the exhaust too much um, I have been uh, thinking about doing some changes and modifications to the exhaust, but like I said, we're on a modification hold as of right now. So it's quiet. The thing rides still like a dream. We haven't rimmed or tired the truck, so we are on stock rims and stock tires. So that's been uh, that's been nice for the ride. But all in all, again, great, 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 great truck. I can't have asked for a better truck. So uh, let's take a quick walk around the truck. Let's take a look at some of the modifications that we've done, some of the things that I really do hate about the truck, and we'll talk about some of the things that we are looking to do to the truck if the modification hold comes off. So let's get, uh, let's get walking around the truck. So some of the modifications that we've done to the truck, you guys have already seen, but I did want to show you guys some issues that I am having with parts of it. Um, but all in all, uh, I love the modifications. So to the front of the truck, the super beast. Oh, look at this thing. I know, I know, I know rims and tires. I get it, I get it. Um, but we have done the valve swap on the bottom. As you guys can see, we've got the light bars running. Well, that's one of the issues. So. The, uh, one of the issues that we're having with the light bar is the top light bar keeps blowing a fuse, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. We have replaced the Rock Country uh, rocker switches, which I'll show you here in a second, but for whatever reason, it keeps blowing the top fuse, so we'll have to get that take a look at, but the thing looks just tough, tough, tough. Um, as you guys know, we've done the antenna delete. Um, we've got the mirrors out, which is great. Around the back, we are running stock exhaust. We do have the uh, delete, so we'll show you guys the delete. So it's basically just the, uh, the delete pipe, which is bolted in right there. Big monster. And um, so some of the things you guys haven't seen, which I saw on an F450, you see right there in the middle of the light, it's uh, it's the DOT light, but there was a spot for the light and able to put the light in there. So uh, I ordered the light off a of recon. It looks so sick. And also I do have some nice backup lights in the truck now. Um, the blacked out Super Duty, blacked out Platinum is also there. We do have the Gen Y hitch amazing hitch this thing will tow absolutely anything absolutely love it um hidden into the inside of the truck now the inside of the truck we do have uh of course we've got our tuner which is great um and we are switched on the fly so you guys can see there we are on of course number five 
and we do have the platinum uh, lighted illuminated kick plates which you can't really see right now but uh, the rock country switch plate here the rocker panel we've replaced this once before because the uh, switches became too hard they wouldn't switch on and off so one two and three are for the front and rear lights so um, we did replace this but for right now that it keeps blowing the fuse so we'll have to keep take a look at that um owl cam love the owl cam if you guys haven't looked at owl cam check out the owl cam and of course we have the valentine one radar detector but let's get in this thing so it doesn't bark at me and let me show you one of the things one of the issues that i have with startup on the truck so when we go into the first startup and okay okay it may not have been long enough it does. So you see how it starts in the towing screen. Now this is one of the things that I do absolutely hate about this truck. Now we had the horse trailer hooked up to this about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And what happens is if you don't unplug the truck or the trailer and get in here and push okay that the trailer's been disconnected, it continues to stay on the screen. So every time I start the truck, I obviously want it to start on my vehicle and my trips, right? So I've got this. But every time I start the truck, it goes back to this screen. So it is a, a little bit of an issue. I hate that it starts on this screen. What I have to do is plug the trailer back in, unplug it, come into the truck and push OK trailers disconnected and it will take me out of this screen. So a little bit of a cork and issue. Um, the other thing that I don't like about the trailer, there's some issue with the trailer. The trailer is, um, it, it, what it does is it keeps saying that a brake light is out and it switches and it disconnects and it plugs. So I think the, the, the hitch plug is an issue. So I'm, I'm kind of debating on going back to Ford about that um but outside the interior is it's great now why are we on a modification hold now uh, there might be some changes so if you guys made it this far I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret now there might be some changes to the truck the f-250 can tow about 15,000 pounds 17 I think max and um you guys may know that I have a big motor home um, and I'm looking to actually get a fifth wheel toy hauler instead of the motor home. So we're looking to swap that out, get a fifth wheel. But the fifth wheel that I'm looking for is 20,000 pound gross vehicle weight. Now, my cousin says this truck will pull it, but it won't be happy. My buddy has a 350 and a 20,000 pound um uh, toy hauler and he just bought a 450 and I know two other people that have a 20,000 pound actually I know one person that's got the same exact toy hauler that I have or that I'm looking at getting and he has a 450 so um, so why are we on a modification hold I might be buying an f450 super duty and trading the 250 in so you guys will have to stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course smash the like button but give me some comments down below about the f450 is the f450 the right choice to go for towing a 20,000 pound toy hauler now if it's done some of the modifications will come over from here to there so that's why i'm kind of on a modification hold i've been looking at rims and tires for the truck but in light of the new news, I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the rims and tires because rims and tires on a 450 aren't changeable and they are a lot more expensive. So um, we're gonna to have to kind of wait on that. But some of the modifications we can switch over. Uh, I won't do the DPF and DEF system delete immediately. I will probably wait for a few thousand miles to get that done just because I want to make sure the engine breaks in make sure there's no initial issues um, but based on this truck this has been it's been absolutely amazing I absolutely love I love the truck it's been amazing if you guys are looking at an f-250 do it you have to do it and in differences between the Lariat and the Platinum I think there is a big difference between a Lariat and a Platinum so if you can splurge a little bit and get up into the Platinum Series, you're going to absolutely love this truck, guys. So um, I know it's not much, 
I just wanted to give you guys an update, show you guys around the truck again, tell you how much I love this thing, and uh, thank you guys for sticking around the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are going to be out looking at the 450 soon. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that decision. But anyways, till next video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Love you guys. Thank you. We'll see you next video.